Okay, but one thing I haven't done yet is really line these up. And there's a couple techniques that you One of them is to draw a line. And notice that when I'm drawing a line, my O-snaps work on the geometry inside the detail. So I just want to draw a line. And it can be from a number of points. This is where sometime having less O-snaps is, uh, is better. Um, I want to show you, uh, also explain why when I draw this line, I have a real nice uh, cursor tool tip. If you're looking at your rhino right now and going, I don't have that. I don't see the distance or the uh, relative uh, coordinates or the angle. Okay, and uh, that is set under modeling aids and cursor tooltips. Okay, so I always uh, keep uh, these on. Uh, coming from AutoCAD, you know, I'm used to seeing these things. So uh, if you want to get those turned on, then you will also see those cursor tooltips that, uh, that you just saw on my screen. Highly recommended. Okay, I'm going to start by moving this detail. And when I move this detail, I'm just going to use the move command. I'm going to pick up the detail from the center point. Now there's other geometry that's converging on the center point. So actually it says endpoint on uh, the screen. This is a little bit harder to do when I have the display mode set to shaded. So I'm going to turn it back to wireframe until uh, I get uh, I get this moved and I'll go back to layout back to move and we'll pick on the center of the bottle now I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to zoom in for you so that you can see that I'm taking off a tracking line from the viewport below and I'm going to pick here, even though it's not exactly where I want it to be, uh, just to uh, make sure that I'm not picking on other geometry. So you can line it up with geometry, like, uh, like these lines that we've drawn, or you can line it up using smart tracking. So for this one, I'm just going to, it looks pretty close, but I can move it either visually or I can move it to that construction line. Okay. So once they're lined up, either using Smart Track, which I'll use whenever uh, whenever I can, um, then I'll erase the construction lines and I'll set this one back to shaded and. Looks like we're just uh, about ready to move into uh, some annotations. So